guys what's up it's amanda welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video so today we are doing a little work vlog um it is currently tuesday about 11 o'clock um i just work uh tuesday wednesday to 12 hours night shift you know the drill um so i started this morning with a little workout showered and now we're eating breakfast um so let's see what we got for breakfast all right so first we have some yogurt strawberries and granola then we have a little breakfast sandwich this has been one of my go-to's recently and obviously some water so work's been has been really crazy but the last few days it's been a lot more chill so that's always nice but i'm gonna eat this um watch some youtube or something and then really i need to film my budget video today that's like the biggest thing i need to accomplish before i take my nap in two and a half hours and i need to edit most of it uh but yeah let's eat and i will chat with you guys in a little bit all right so i am ready to film uh, my budget video for july can't believe it's already time to film it again um so yeah, that'll be the video that is up after this one. Actually, no, the video, it'll be up before this. So I'll have it up here for you guys to check out. Um, yeah, uh, we'll film that. It's about noon now, so we'll film that. We'll have a little snack and then we'll go take our nap. Um, for my lunches this week, I'm just doing like sandwiches, nothing super crazy. Um, so I'll just make that before I leave tonight to go to work. That's all the updates I have for you right now. All right guys, so I just finished filming my July budget. So um, now I am going to edit that, at least start editing it. Um, and I hope to get it up by Thursday or maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go look at my planner real quick because I feel like there was something else I wanted to do today, but I don't remember what it is. So let's go look at that. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys. We got a new carpet, a new rug. It's from Amazon. Uh, the coffee table definitely feels super out of place with this carpet, but it's fine. Um, it was like $80 on Prime Days, so like super excited about that. Still has got some bumps in it from it being like rolled up, but I would love it. He likes it too. What are you doing? Crazy girl. You're so crazy. You're so crazy. Kiwi, we've almost owned you for a whole year. We almost owned you for a whole year. Hi friends. Okay, so it is about 1.30 now. Um, I am in bed now. I'm just gonna read for a tiny little bit. I'm reading The Silent Patient right now. Um, one of my goals for this last month and for this next month is to read at least 10 pages a day um, just to have some me time and I also need to do my Spanish for the day too. So I think I'm gonna do that in bed real quick and then I'll fall asleep. I'll try to wake up probably like 4.45. I need to remind Alex that we're having tacos for dinner. Um, but yeah, um, I will talk to you guys when we wake up. Hi guys, I just woke up. It's 4.58. Um, we're gonna have tacos for dinner. Alex is working on that. So we got some meat, I need to make some coffee. Oh, you want to say hi to the friends? Oh, good, good, good job. Say, just thank you. All right, coffee is ready to go. Tacos are almost ready. Alex is ready for taco. <laughs> <laughs> Got all of our sides. Delicious.
All right, guys, we got our burrito and coffee. Quite the combo. What are you doing? Hello. And then we have our little resident bird watcher. Are you watching the birds? Yeah? Are you watching the birds? All right, we'll eat and then start packing up our lunch and getting ready to go to work. Guys, so Alex has an interview tomorrow. And so we're just quick figuring out what he's gonna wear. I don't know, what do you think about the button? The top top one? Mm -hmm. uh, if you wanna suffocate, we'll do it real quick. I think it looks weird. Undo it. No, no, keep it. Yeah, I suppose it looks kind of lazy if it's not. Look, he was so professional. So professional, and then there's me. Prisoner. <laughs> All right, so we have our clothes on for work. Um, I need to wash my face and put my hair up, but ew. and then pack up my lunch. Get this ready for work. All right, guys, we are ready for work. Just a smidge of under eye makeup so I don't look like a zombie. And then hair is back in a clip, per usual. I can't wait till after the wedding when I can cut my hair because I can't cut it right now because it needs to be even longer than it is right now so that I can fit in the way that I want for the wedding. Okay, let's grab some socks and pack up our lunch. All right, friends, we have our lunch ready to go. We got a turkey sandwich, veggies and cucumbers with some dill dip. Um, we made some pasta salad last night, so I threw some of that in there. An apple, an olive bar, and a little snack pack. All right, friends, so um, it is about uh, 6.13. Um, about to head to work. Um, I'm actually excited about work um works like these last few stretches i work i just feel like i've really been able to connect with my patients recently and make a difference and um i've also had very consistent patients recently which has been really awesome I love when that happens when i can have patients throughout their whole stay so yeah i'm excited um apparently we have four sets of twins uh being c-sectioned this week so that's gonna be fun one of them is uh young enough that they will go straight to NICU but the other ones will all be on the unit so maybe I'll get some twinnies I kind of like twins sometimes and depends on depends on the twins and it depends on the family like obviously the older twins are easier but it's also easier if it's not their first kid but so I'm going to head on over to work and I will chat with you guys when I get home in the morning, give you guys a little update um, on how everything went and yeah, see you guys in the morning. So it's about eight o'clock now. Um, I just got home from work. Work was actually pretty good. I had an amazing group. Everyone like worked really well together. Um, I actually did have end up having uh, a set of twins and then I had a couplet and then a Nikki mom Which usually that doesn't happen. Usually you have twins and a couplet or twins and a Nikki mom But the Nikki mom like needed nothing and the couplet was like their second kids and they knew what they were doing whatever and the twins weren't actually too bad, so It was a really good shift. It went by really fast, which hasn't been happening recently, but um yeah, overall, great shift. Um, I had to work with some of my favorite coworkers, which is always fun. Um, um, so I realized that I forgot to finish like exporting and uploading my budget video for today. So I'm currently doing that right now. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna eat something, probably just make a bagel. Perhaps for life when you have to sleep all day. Um, and then Alex is actually not gonna be here for dinner tonight because it is his brother's birthday and he has his interview today at 12.30. 12, 12.30, I don't remember. 
um, I'm so excited for him. I really hope he either gets this job or another job that he recently applied for. Um, because he texted me last night, he goes, I need a job. He's like, I'm sick of this. And I was like, what? Well, I mean, he's been applying to things, but there's only so many places hiring. I'm rambling now. Let's go make some, uh, breakfast. Good morning, guys. Oh, I need my watch. <laughs> okay, so it is about 4.30 now. I woke up probably around 4. Alex actually left um, to go have dinner with his family. I think I said this earlier because it's his brother's birthday. And it just woke me up, but, like, it's fine. Um, I, number one, I really need coffee. But my, like, recently, um, my, like, feet have been just like so stiff when i wake up in the morning and i have no idea why because it's not like i'm like walking like it feels like i don't think i'm walking any more than i usually do and i like got new shoes like a month or two ago probably longer now but it's so weird and like actually well okay so back up to the story i actually broke my foot uh probably 10 years ago now wow that's weird um like 10 years ago maybe nine i don't know it, i was 16 <laughs> i did just turn 16 i'm 25 okay nine years ago then that's what it is because i'll be 25 um and then i had to have like a minor minor foot surgery like uh six months later just because my tendons were really like inflamed and stuff so it was like a tendon thing um but the other day when I was working out, I kind of like tweaked it a little bit, but that was like a week ago and it doesn't hurt. It just gets like, like they just are sore and gr and like feel puffy when I wake up and I don't know why, but then when I start moving, they're fine. But like well, the first few steps when I wake up, I'm like, ugh. I don't know. It's so weird. If you have any like, I any clue what's going on with my feet, let me know. But like, they're not swollen or anything like i've gotten like bad swelling in my feet before but they're not swollen so i don't know anyway let's have some coffee let's figure out what i want to eat for dinner um i really don't have anything that, that i need to do i don't know why i'm awake so early but it's only a two night stretch so i feel like i don't care as much about getting a lot of sleep oh kiwi what's up pretty girl <laughs> you're too cute all right, coffee time. Cup. Ice. All right, so I have like a ton of time, so I'm just gonna like do stuff that I don't, don't like normally do, but I'm gonna just go quickly through my planner and make sure that I'm not like forgetting anything for the next few days. Um, I know that this weekend we're doing stuff with some friends, so that's not something super important, but, um, I have also been trying really hard to, like, really crush my goals for this week, so, so far I have been killing it, um, but what I was gonna say is... I just wanted to go through quick and like make sure that I have everything that I need to what am I trying to say you guys I know my hair like doesn't actually look that long but this is like the longest my hair has been in a while because I usually cut it when it gets like <laughs> to here I usually cut it up here but because of the wedding I have to have it long um, so I can like do what I need to do with it um, so that's fun um oh tomorrow actually here we go this is what i was trying to do figure out my life um tomorrow in the afternoon we have a um little video chat with our uh officiant the person who is marrying us at three o'clock so i'm gonna put that in here and we are planning out like our whole ceremony and everything um a lot of it like is like a 
blueprint type thing that he already has but i need to make sure that i look through that ahead of time also i scheduled a hair appointment to get some more color in it for the month so that is this day at 11 a.m guys i can't believe it's july tomorrow july's like i'm biased obviously because my birthday's in july but july's like one of my favorite months because it's like the prime of summer like i love the fourth of july i mainly love the fourth of july because um growing up we would always have like big family fourth of july parties and i would always see my friends at the fourth of july because our um this town i grew up in had like fairs and stuff and so like i always got to see everyone around my birthday and it was just like so exciting for me but anyway um yeah my birthday is in um, oh my birthday's in a week from today um we're not doing anything fun i am vlogging it though um we're not doing anything crazy that i know of um i told alex like i didn't need anything just like asked him like hey plan like a fun date or something for us to do so we shall see about that and yeah okay so one of my goals for um this month and I started it a few weeks ago is to do like a 10 minute pickup every day and um i've been really consistently doing it but some days like today there's not even 10 minute worth of things to pick up which is the point of it though you know what i mean the point is that i'm not going to have to spend 10 minutes picking up every day because if i do it the day before then less stuff is cluttered um but there's like a few things around the apartment that i need to pick up so i think i'm gonna do that real quick and then um i need to read my 10 pages for the day and yeah finish coffee um we have some leftovers that i'll have for dinner so i don't have to create anything crazy but yeah um my camera battery's gonna die so let's change that and then do a little pickup Okay, so the, I'm like halfway through my timer um, and like everything's picked up. Like there's nothing left that I need to pick up, which is awesome. That's the goal, that's the point. I'm really excited about it because it doesn't feel like nearly as much stuff when I set a timer to it. Um, so yeah, I like recommend trying it out. I think it's been really helpful. Um, there's like some stuff in one of our bathrooms that's Alex's, but I'm not gonna pick it up because that's his responsibility. Um, yeah, it's like five o'clock now. I think I'm gonna eat something real quick, um, finish up my coffee, and then uh, read a little bit before I go to work. Okay guys, so I got a little carried away making dinner. <laughs> I made some broccoli, I made some uh, like white cheddar mac and cheese, and then we have our chicken patty burger thing here. So I am going to eat this real quick. Um, I'm actually watching some YouTube right now, and then 5.30 now, so I'll have time to read a little bit and then um, get ready for work because we gotta go to work today. I got a text from work that we're short staffed, which I feel like only ever happens when I'm already scheduled to work. Like, if I got text to go to work when I wasn't working, I mean, I might not go, but I don't even have the option because I'm already working. That's fun, whatever. Um, okay, yeah, let's eat and then I will chat with you guys in a little bit. Everything is cleaned up from dinner. Let's go get ready for bed. 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 I wish I was getting ready for bed. Um, no, that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to say let's get ready for work. We are dressed for work. It's about 6.02. I'm going to quick pack up my lunch. I'm probably going to do a similar thing that I did yesterday because why not? <laughs> because it was good. I liked it. It was, it was tasty. Um, and then, yeah, see if I have a little bit of time to read. Um, if I have a, one of my families back tonight, I have to do a car seat test tonight. So um, I'll have a little bit of time then. So 
school. We'll see. We'll see. Let's pack up our lunch though. All right, part in the dishwasher in the background, but lunch is packed up, ready to go. I'm actually gonna have some coffee and bring it to work. Um, I've been recently buying like a little thing of just iced coffee from Aldi and haven't complained about it. It's been really nice. So we're gonna just pour a little bit of this. All right, we got about 10 minutes before I have to leave for work. I don't know why it's not focusing on my face, um, but I figured I would just sit down and try and get my 10 pages done. And also I need to bring my book to work today because I might need to read it. It's been good so far. I'm like, oh, I'm just about halfway. I'm waiting for something crazy to happen because everyone is like, oh my God, you'll never believe what happened. So like, all right, I am gonna do this real quick and then I probably will just leave for work. Um, but yeah, I will chat with you guys when I get home in the morning, let you know how work went, how my shift was, all the fun stuff, and yeah. All right guys, so it is currently, can we, like really? It is currently about eight o'clock. Um, I just got home from work and um, overall work was actually pretty good. Um, I had one of my same families back. Um, like I said, I did a car seat test um, and actually I had a kiddo with a low temp, which took up a lot of my time, um, but we got him warm. Um, it actually flew by surprisingly, um, but yeah, overall, like, this this two-night stretch was great. Our numbers are pretty much back to normal, like, delivery-wise. Um, like, delivery-wise, so it was pretty good. Um, two-night stretch, two twelves are pretty easy for me, usually. Um, but, uh, if you made it to this part in the video, you are probably waiting for my, uh, special announcement, which... I wasn't quite sure until a little bit ago if this announcement was actually going to be an announcement or not. So, uh, without further ado, drum roll. I officially accepted a postpartum position working day shift and PM shift. So that means no more night shift. Um, I'll go into a little bit of detail about it first. Okay, so uh, my hospital has eight hour shifts, 12 hour shifts, both. So the position that I currently work is a 0.8 night shift, eight and 12 hour shifts every other weekend. Um, the position that I accepted is actually a variable position. So it was a 0.7 to a 0.9. Um, so it just kind of depends on the census of the hospital and our unit and um, during like the summer busier birthing months um, I'll probably always be working a 0.9 in the winter they might have me more towards a 0.7 but I'm guaranteed to always work a 0.7 so that's my FTE so it's 0.7 to 0.9 pretty much will be guaranteed to work over a 0.7 um, so kind of evens out with what I'm at right now You say hi. And then it's still eight and 12 hour shifts. So I could either work an eight hour day shift, 12 hour day shift, or an eight hour PM shift, which would be 3 PM to 11 PM. Um, so there's that. So with the variable position, we actually get a differential of, I believe $3, so an hour. So I will be making the same amount that I make working nights and working the point nine, there's a chance that I'll actually be making more money um, than what I currently work right now, which is actually like really exciting. Um, so another perk of uh, the variable position is that I actually don't have any more, I won't have any on-call shifts unless I pick them up, um, which is nice because I'm not a big fan of on-call shifts. They're not my favorite. So yeah um i were scheduled until at least um september working nights that's like the schedule's already out for that so hopefully by september i'll switch over um i would say october at the latest um but i'm definitely gonna have to start like altering my sleep schedule so that's gonna be interesting but um i'm gonna go into a little bit of detail quickly about like my reasoning for switching because 
I'm pretty sure in like very recent videos and Q and A's and stuff, and I think like on Instagram Live, like I've been asked like, when am I going to switch to day shift? And I've always been like, oh, at least for a few more years, I'll work, I'll work night shift. But let me tell you, this last like <laughs> these last two or three months, night shift has been draining me, like so bad like i am always so tired kiwi can you not show your butt to everyone um i'm always exhausted i've been constantly waking up at like 3 p.m when i need to go to work that night it's just not been great for me um i feel like i am really like unmotivated to do workouts and stuff um even when i wake up after a night shift and i just feel like night shift takes up so much more time because you're like sleeping at not a normal time and I don't know i just like for a while there there was a few like day pm positions that had opened up and i had like thought about applying but like i really need the income because i have all my debt and stuff so when this opened up i was like oh my god this is like absolutely perfect like i literally will be making the same amount of money but i will be working day shift so that's kind of why i bit the bullet i talked to alex i was like hey like i think i'm gonna do this and he was like go for it like he's wanted me to switch over to day shift for a while because he's not a night shifter but with him like starting and hopefully getting a job soon like and working a full-time job i think it'll just be easier on us and a relationship just to like be on the same schedule so yeah and a handful of my friends who work night shift are switching or have switched recently to day shift so that's also fun um but like i i absolutely love my coworkers and i love like the chillness of night shift but the sleep schedule of it is really really been getting to me lately so yeah new new adventures um i'm gonna have to remember how to discharge patients i mean i've done a few discharges um like a late night shift or early night shift if i work a 12 discharge and i've done some circs so i feel like overall i'll be okay i'm actually kind of excited to like really get to know like the pediatricians and the attending doctors because they're never there on night shift i always just always deal with the residents oh, i'm rambling but yeah i'm excited so yeah that is going to be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching make sure this video give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos from me and i will see you guys next time bye